welcome back to the Sterling Stream. It's Monday, and you know what that means, the Monday Blues. Imagine being a senior and feeling those blues year round. We're here to show you how to get over it. Speaking of getting over things, let's see how we're going to survive finals. Thanks, Madeline. Semester 1 finals are upon us. I will see what teachers recommend for us to study. What are some tips you have for students studying for a science final? Well, I would say that the first thing you need to do is go through all of your notes and uh, make sure that you review everything that's been covered so far in the year. And then, um, at least for my class, it's really helpful if you go through and do um, some sample problems or practice problems because you can look at the problems, you can um, watch somebody else work out problems, you can read about it, but nothing really helps you understand a problem until you start working it out yourself. So I would do a lot of um, samples, look at what you've done in your notes and see if you can uh, recreate it without reading how you answered it in your notes and things like that. If there's something that is from earlier on that you've forgotten or something that you really didn't understand, find somebody else in your class that does or ask your teacher, um, but don't let that go until the very last minute. What are some tips that you have for students studying for an English final? So first, it depends on what the final exam is. Your teacher should tell you what will be on your final exam. Um, now, depending on what the final is, you should either use a study guide or create your own study guide because that will help you sort of outline the things that you need to study. You could also look over your notes or previous papers, um, make flashcards if it's vocabulary. And if none of that works, then you could ask your teacher um, what to study for for you at that specific final. What are some tips that you have for students studying for a social studies final? Well, I'd say the first thing is to make sure you have your notes together. Um, make sure you've gone through and highlighted certain concepts. I always tell my students if there's something that you don't remember or you're not sure of, that would be the thing I would highlight first and foremost to make sure you go back and really focus on that. Um, otherwise, you know, the big thing is to go in and see your teachers during eighth hour or before school or whatever and really make sure you understand some of those concepts because when it comes down to it, it's retention of what has happened and applying that to certain questions. So, you know, that's how it is with any social studies finals, just taking your time going through that information. So. Try using some of these tips. I want to see some of the best gifts given from members of our school. Thanks, Xavier. It's getting close to Christmas, the season of giving. One. Uh, what's your favorite gift you've ever given anyone and why? Okay, uh, it's actually going to be a gift that I'm giving this year. I found um, a company that engraves cutting boards with handwritten recipes. So for my husband, I got him a handwritten recipe that his mom had made um, engraved on a cutting board, which is really special because his mom passed away like 15 years ago. So I'm really excited to give it to him. I bought my cousin AirPods because he sticks up for me and he's like a brother to me. Uh, I bought my girlfriend concert tickets. And I bought her this because the concert was really cool. Um, I bought my mom a necklace, and I like this gift because she does so much for my family. Um, I got my brother a beard grooming kit because he has a beard. I got my mom a pair of really nice earrings, and I love that gift because she means so much to me. Okay, so the... The best gift I've ever given somebody is a portrait of me and them together that I drew. And the reason why this is my favorite is because it was really important to me and to the person that I was giving it to. So the best gift I've ever given 
It was last Christmas. Um, last Christmas, I gave someone my heart, but the very next day, I gave it away. Um, and I think that was probably the most personal gift I could have given. So this year, um, just you know, save me from that. Um, I think I'll give that to someone special. So for gifts, I don't really like give actual gifts, but I'll like buy my friends food. So Dynasty, McDonald's, we'll just hang out and eat. Wow, I really wish I had a pencil right now. Hey, here you go. Oh, thank you. It really is the season of giving. Let's pass it on to JJ. Thanks, Kale. Break is going to be here in two short weeks, so let's take a look at what some people want to do over break. What are your plans for Christmas break? I'm taking an RV with my family to go down to Texas for Christmas break. I plan on working and spending time with family. So my nan is coming from Memphis up to here to Illinois, and we're going to be spending time with her, me and my mom, my dad, and the rest of my family. Probably going to eat dinner and have a big family meeting. Um, spending time with my family, um, sleeping and eating. <laughs> um, celebrate my 17th birthday, um, and Christmas, and spend time with my family. Uh, spend time with family and hopefully catch some uh, sterling boys and girls basketball games here. Christmas break. My plans for Christmas break are to read lots and lots of books, eat, sleep, and visit with my grandchildren and the rest of the family. Going to the doctor and having fun with family. Okay. Sounds like fun. A lot of monumental stuff has happened over the past 10 years. So let's take a look at the review of the decade. Thanks, JJ. Wow, the 2010s flew by. Let's take a look at a review of the decade. I could go to the store or I could just order off of Amazon. But, you know, yeah, free shipping. That's true. I haven't heard you guys talking about Amazon. Well, that's crazy. You know, Amazon actually came out in 1994, but it got really popular in the decade. Actually, since 2010, Amazon's made over $232 billion. Dude, Tom Brady's so good. He is really good. Actually, in this decade, he's already won four championships. Ooh. I thought Tom Brady was good. Ooh, LeBron James is a GOAT. In just a decade, LeBron has three MVPs, nine All-NBA selections, nine All-Star selections, and six All-Defense selections. And that's just some of it. Wow. Crazy. All right, love you, Grandma. Bye. Oh, I wonder when this phone came out. Actually, Peyton, the iPhone 11 came out September 20th, 2019. Dude, I love this. I wonder when this came out. Actually, Peyton, TikTok came out September 2017. It was originated as Musical.ly, which came out in April 2014. Thank you. What are you guys doing? Fortnite dances. What's Fortnite? Fortnite is a game that came out in 2011, but became really popular in 2017 and 2018. Oh my, these were all some amazing, cool, and fun things. For the Sterling Stream, I'm Peyton Davis, signing off.